guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about products that I am scared to pan. Even though I do a lot of project pans, I do a lot of projects, I'm still scared of some products in my collection. Some products I have just gone for and tried to pan a little bit anyway, but some products are just really scared to like dip into and start and push yourself over the edge basically. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about a few products today and I actually have a lot but I think it is kind of by category and then I will talk from there. The first product that came to mind that I was scared the heck out to ban and that was one of these lippies. These are the weird and fun lippies in my collection and something I don't see myself use every single day but just on occasion you know. So these are from NYX, two of them, which is the green and the blue, you know. They are the NYX Cosmic Metals lip creams and then the one in the middle is the NYX Liquid Suede. Here they are. So the one in the middle is a grey colour. I have done a collection video where I show you all of my crazy coloured lippies. Um, so these will definitely be in there. but. I'm just really really scared of panning these because I don't know how I'm going to do. The easiest of these three are definitely the grey one. That is just more neutral than a blue or a green lip gloss. <laughs> I'm just really really scared. I don't know how to do it and how to rock them every single day. Another lip gloss I have is the W7 Metal Kiss and this is in a... this is just one of them. I have a matte version of this color and then another one and this is a orangey coppery lip gloss and it is very orange on the lips metal coppery bronze shade so this is also going to be hard for an everyday use but again it is more neutral than a green or a blue but speaking of bold lippies I have a few. <laughs> First up I have my W7 Glitter Pop liquid lipsticks and these does turn into glitter so I have a hard time thinking about me panning a glitter lipstick. <laughs> it's just... it's out there and it's just a one day occasion here and there. It's not something I can see myself every, wear every day. Then I know a lot of people will think this is not out there and why are you scared of that? But I am scared to pan a bright pink, hot pink lipstick. This is the W7 Metal Matte Lipstick in Santorini. I'm really really scared. I know it is a beautiful shade. I love it on myself but I'm really really scared to pan it because it's so bright. I can pan a red lipstick so maybe this shade would be nice but it is the glitter that I have a hard time thinking about panning. Then we have in the other bold color family it is a really really dark lipstick. I know this can be worn in the fall time and the winter time and I am doing that but yeah maybe this is the easiest lip color in this video to wear every single day and not finding it weird because it's a neutral color even though it's really really bold. I'm just really really scared. I'm just scared. The last lippy I'm going to talk about is this lip gloss. It is the W7 Hot Shot Pout Plumping Gloss. I'm really really scared of this gloss just in general, not just to pan it, because this burns your lips so much. It is like you have eaten a whole chili, not just a little part, but a whole chili on your mouth or your lips, and that really scares me <laughs> because with a lip gloss you want to reapply a lot. To go through it and in my head that means you will have your lips burning 24 7. I'm not ready for that. I don't know. I don't I I have no idea how I'm going to pan this if I want to. I, I don't know if I even want to use it here and there. I don't think this is plumping. I think it's burning. Yeah 
Okay, speaking of glitter, I have four here and I do have some glitter palettes. I'm not going to show those because I just have these here. These are some W7 glitters. I can't see myself pan these because these are the fun part of makeup. This is a part of my collection that I don't feel like I want to force myself to use them. I want to use them if I feel like it and if I think they are fun to wear for a certain look. I don't want to use them up just to use them up. I want to use them because I want to. And that is kind of the same way with a pigment. Glitters are scaring me because they're really out there and bold and uh, yeah. I don't know. A glitter liner is better for me but I can't see myself pan that either so. Let's take some blushes because I do have a lot of highlighter. For a blush, I like a neutral blush. Today I have an, like an orange coal one on, but a coal orange blush that really scares me is the California from Benefit. This is a beautiful one. I really, really like it, but it scares me so much because it's so, so bright and you don't need a lot. And because you don't need a lot of blush, that means it takes forever to go through. This is a mini size, so it won't take as long if I as if I had the full size. But this blush is so bright that it is insane. So that scares me so much. Another bright blush that scares me, this is more manageable though. It is from Catrice. It is the defining blush. It is called Think Pink. It doesn't seem this bright, but on the cheeks it's definitely bright. And it just scares me a lot. This one scares me because of its size. It is the W7 Cheeky Flusher. It is the Orgasm from NARS dupe. And this is just so huge, it's so big. It's beautiful and I love it. And the color is so, no so nice. But the size of this is insane. It is 10 grams of blush. And I think this small California one is 2.5 grams. Oh my god, that's so much. So much product. Oh my god. And then we have these darker blushes right here. This, yeah, it is, it, it broke on me. It is W7 Matte Me Blush. And this is in El Toro. It is a beautiful one. And I love a darker blush for the fall time. And this is a MAC. Make Your Mind Pro Longwear Blush. And these scares me because of the dark color, because you really have to... In my head, I can mostly use these in the fall and winter time. And it's just not an all year round blush. So a darker blush really scares me just as much as a really, really bright one. May I risk it and say this is a dupe for the MAC one? Kind of. The, the MAC is a little bit more warm. But in the W7 one, there is 80 grams, which is a lot. And in the MAC one, there is 6 grams. <sighs> oh my god. So much stuff. Then we come to highlighter. Highlighter is a category that is amazing. I love a good highlighter. I just really, really love it. But when it comes to color, the color of the highlighter, I really just want a pale neutral highlighter. So panning these holographic highlighters really, really scares me. I have done a whole video on my holographic collection. And this is the W7 Prismatic 3D Highlighting Palette. So there's pink, blue, lavender and a green highlighter in here. I have these W7 Light It Up and Glow All Night loose highlighters. But you can see this is a peachy one prettiest in my mind. Then I have the blue one, I believe it is. And we have a pink. And then we have a yellow. I just opened this, so it comes with a nice shifter, but what scares me is that it is exploding every time I want to open it. Because I have just taken the plastic uh, thing off this one is not as intense. Can you see how much the product is just everywhere? And I have even tried to put it into... Yeah, now I just have a yellow highlighter all over. And these are duochrome as well, so they're just different and they're really, really scary. Then I have a cream highlight from 
which is also a holographic one. It is the Glow Fix Stick. And this is a beautiful one, but it's blue and... Uh, um, again, it is a specific look, just like the lip gloss. I think you can pull off a colored highlighter more than a, the lippy one, the lippy stick, but... Damn, it scares me so much. Then we have these. This is separating. This is actually kind of gross. It is W7 Beam Me Up Illuminator. Oh my god, this is just, if you know the Benefit High Beam, this is kind of it. It's just more intense. So this will look amazing as a highlighter or a body thing, but there is so much product in these. There is 30 milliliters, so it's just as big as a foundation. And it just scares me because there's so much product, it's so intense, and it is a liquid highlighter. It's just not... A powder is just more soothing and manageable in my head. Then we have this one. This is the Sleek Highlighting Palette. Oh my god. And you can probably guess why this scares me. This is so intense and so bright. It's in insane, but it is insanely beautiful. So just thinking about trying to pan this thing scares me so much because you just need the tiniest bit and that means it will take forever to go through. Like I said earlier, lipsticks does scare me a little bit to pan, but not as much as a lipstick palette. Oh my god. For uh, Rebecca from Panning and Stuff, she panned a lip palette last year, I believe. And I admire that so much because th there are 12 lipsticks in this palette and that's just insane. There are mattes and metallics, shimmery lipsticks. It's just scary to use a lip palette when you know you have like 50 lipsticks lipsticks with liquid lipsticks and lip glosses in your collection and then you have a palette also overwhelming much but there's only only i say it loosely and <laughs> there's only eight grams of product in this so i don't believe that is uh, the pants are really really deep but there are 12 of them it's not just a full pan pan of lipstick you know there are 12 of them. The last category we have to talk about is eyeshadow. I can pan a lot of shadows. I can pan a lot of colored eyeshadow. I'm not really scared to pan an eyeshadow because hitting pan is really, really nice and stuff like that. And I know that is my biggest category when you talk about the individual pans. I'm thinking of two things when I look at a palette. The first one is, do you like it? Do you want to use it? And is it a, is it a, a color scheme you really like? And the second one is, would you do a panda palette on that item? And then I'm just crossing over the last one because panda palette, oh my God. So the first one that I came to mind that was scaring me a little bit to do a panda palette on, it is the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. And if you know the palette, it has greens and blues and purples. There's no neutrals, there's a black even and there are no browns that will be like the easy to use shadows. These are just colorful. And the process of me thinking you need to wear these every single day to go through the palette, that scares me so much. I love color. I love to play around with color, but uh, this is my work uh, appropriate everyday look. And uh, to mix that up with an all green, blue or purple or even a mixed look of these colors scares me so much. <laughs> Ugh. And they're creamy and pigmented at the same time, so they are not sheer or anything on your eyes, so it really scares me if I am going to do a panda palette. And the same with this. I am trying, <laughs> trying to pan over a longer period of time. The project doesn't have an end date, but I'm trying to go through the D Morphe 35OM, and that is so hard to just pan on, and then I'm thinking, I have another Morphe palette and this is the 35K and this scares me more to pan because there are more dark shades, there are more black and greys and I don't wear a lot of grey. So this scares me a little bit because it's so dark and but, but it's neutral at the same time so it would be easier 
And because I'm trying to pan a whole palette of the Morphe 35 uh, palette, and that is all matte, and the matte formula is so intense and hard packed, so this will be a very overwhelming palette to pan because it's so dark and the only plus about the palette is that it is a neutral palette. Another palette that really scares me and that I have thought about though is the MDK Vice 4 palette. And this scares me a little bit because the FOMO is getting over me because I don't want to get rid of the packaging but I don't have to when I go through it. Because it should take a long time to go through the palette, I think you are okay <laughs> with the time you spend with it. But this scares me because of the color scheme. I think this is a hard color scheme to make different looks from. Um, if you really think about it, I think you can do it. But it scares me to, to try to use this every single day because of the color scheme. And the color story, if you can say it like that. There are some neutrals, yes, but the only match that really is in this palette are these three right here. Otherwise, they are satin or really shimmery, glittery, metallic. So this really scares me because the, I don't really have any colorful crease shades if I want that. I really have an intense brown. I don't have a, a lighter brown. Um, so this is scary. The last two palettes I'm going to talk about is really in the very big palette category and they are very pigmented category. I think they will be nice to pan and nice to use every single day and I think I would really like to use them every day. But they are really overwhelming if I'm going to choose a panda palette for it. It is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palettes Love Sign and Zodiac Palette. So if you haven't seen them before, this is how the Zodiac palette is looking like. It is the original palette that BH Cosmetics did. It is a pretty neutral, kind of cool toned um, palette. It is so beautiful and so intense and it is pigmented and I would love to use it every day if, uh, if I didn't have a freaking ton of makeup. But that what scares me is that it is so pigmented and rich in color that it is quite overwhelming because I'm not used to, I think it there, it is there, I'm not used to a very, very, very pigmented palette to pan. And the other one is the Love Signs. This is the one I think I would enjoy this more than the Zodiac palette because this is a warm tone palette. I love my orange and my brown, uh, carberry, bronzy shades and a gold and I like a pop of color, you know, so... And the pinks as well. I think I would really, really like this palette for everyday use, but it is just overwhelming because there are 25 shades in this. And in those 25 shades, there is a highlighter in the middle. So in my head, I am going, I would have to pan the highlighter as well. I know that doesn't have to be the case, but on the other hand, I just realized the outer rim, they are baked shadows and baked shadows takes so much longer to go through uh, than a standard pan of eyeshadow and the highlighter is baked as well. And baked highlighters, don't get me started on those, they are a mess to go through. They are so hard. I have tried to pan a little bit of each. <sighs> no, thank you. So I would rather not try to pan these. So that is an overall uh, look into my collection, what products that is really scare scaring me to pan. I have a lot of products I really do and there are some products that scares me a little bit less than these that are in my collection that I didn't show you. So these are the products that really really scares me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely loved going through my collection and really take a dip into my collection and see what really scares me to pan and see if I sometime in the future can hop out of my comfort zone because eventually if I want to be a true panner I'm going through these products and it's not that I don't like the products except the lip gloss you know but I'm just really really scared because they're pigmented and um, they are going to last ever to pan so I definitely want to have the mindset that I'm going to use up a small chunk at the time so it's not overwhelming to finish for example this whole blush in one project for a year or something maybe I can just start a, 
and just say I want to have a pen and maybe just put it into a project like go for the gold for the fantastic ladies and just set a goal for it. I have done that in the past, not that exact product but a project like it that would just I'm trying to hit pan on stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you have any video ideas for me please let me know because I really want to hear what you guys want to see from me. If you have any text or anything I haven't done please let me know because I'm really into a routine about doing those and I think I only have one tag left on my list and then I want to uh, discover a new one so please let me know what you want to see from me <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care